Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV on YouTube. I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor bringing you the biggest story of the day from right outside the Supreme Court. Now, the Ayodhya verdict is on everybody's mind. It's captured the country's imagination. It is one of the longest running cases and disputes in the country. It is expected any time next week. And in order to ensure that when the verdict comes out, from these doors behind me, there is peace and order across the country. There are several measures being taken. This morning, the Chief Justice of India addressed and asked the, the Chief of Police and also the principals, the Chief Secretary of Uttar Pradesh to come to the Supreme Court. He asked them to come to his chambers and discuss the issue with him. The meeting with the Chief Justice of India and the DGP and the Chief Secretary of UP went on for about an hour and a half. It happened inside his closed chambers and while only the Chief Justice knows what was on his mind, it said that it is all in the run-up to that verdict to try and understand and perhaps take a quick tap on if everything is in place to ensure that nothing untoward really takes place. Now remember, the date of the verdict is still not known. What we do know is that it will come out before the 17th. In fact, 17th is a weekend, so any time before the 15th and between the 13th is going to be the verdict day. How it works under procedure in the Supreme Court is unlike other courts, and this is going to be a bit of a fascinating information for all you viewers, is that there only is a cause list that comes out an evening before, and that's when you get to know whether or not that case is listed for the next day. So it will only be on a half day notice that the country will get to know whether or not their, uh, the Ayodhya verdict is coming out the next day. So that's as far as the date of the verdict is concerned. And also when it comes to the preparations, now let's talk about that in detail. The CGI did his bit to ensure that preparations were on and nothing untoward happens. There are other organizations also who have been doing their bit. Let's begin with what the UP government has done. Last evening, the Chief Minister, Mr. Adityanath, held a long meeting in the evening, ran into some three hours or so, where he called in all the top officers and asked them for a blueprint, asked them to identify hotspots, sensitive areas where he believes there should be more boots on the ground and police presence to ensure nothing untoward happens. There have been a couple of things which have been decided in that meeting. Number one, there will be two helicopters put into place, one in Lucknow, another one in Ayodhya, both at a difference and a distance of actually just about 100 kilometers or so, to ensure that in case of an emergency, there is aerial mobility as well. Number two, it has been decided that there will be identification of sensitive areas wherein more troops will be put in and there will be activities carried out wherein the police officers will go door to door and try and bring in information, sensitize the people and request them not to either celebrate or look down upon whatever the verdict is that might come out from the court from the courts where I'm coming from. Number three, what's been decided is that there will be a special lookout for everything that's been coming out in the social media. Now, this is very important to remember. So I want to take a pause and talk to you about this in a bit of a detail. Remember, the, the last time the big verdict came out in the Ayodhya title dispute case, it was in the Allahabad High Court. That time Mayawati was in power in UP and she ensured that there was there were enough and more troops on the ground and nothing untoward happened. No law and order was breached. There was absolute peace. This time around, while that has to be done, the big worry is of fake news, of social media. And there is constantly advisories that are going out urging people not to send out inflammatory content, also not to believe what's being circulated online. 
In fact, the UP police has now said that they will be booking people under the National Security Act, that's the NSA, in case they find people who are violating those laws or trying to create any sort of unrest because of social media. There are also talks going on and these are reports coming in through sources from the Supreme Court that there might be some sort of crackdown on internet services if they believe that things might go out of hand. So that's as far as the social media angle is concerned, which is also of a huge concern. So we discussed how is it that the Chief Justice of India is looking into the issue and overlooking all the details into this case and preparedness of the authorities in the run-up to the Ayodhya title dispute case. We talked about what the UP government is doing as well. We talked about the social media angle. Last but not the least is what the central government has also done. The Home Ministry has sent out advisories to all states across the country urging them to identify sensitive areas and ensure that there is law and order maintained in the run-up to the Ayodhya verdict. Now remember, this case has gone on over 100 years. It is one which impacts the sentiments of people in the country, is absolutely core and perhaps an integral part of, of the country at this point. It is something that triggers huge emotions. And thus, whatever the verdict it is that comes out from the Supreme Court, the CGI, the governments, the police forces at this point are urging the people to take it in its stride and not take law in their own hands, ensure that law and order is maintained. Quick note on what Ayodhya is looking like at this point. If you speak to people in Ayodhya on the ground, they continue to say that they are absolutely in harmony. They just hope people from outside don't come in at this point and create any unrest. While there is no curfew-like situation on the ground in Ayodhya, there is Section 144 in place. That means not more than four to five people can gather at any one particular place and the police will be looking into that as well. So that's it on the YouTube segment today. We will be tracking all those details as we get closely into the Ayodhya verdict case. It is expected to come around the 14th and that's going to be next week. Keep ensure that you are here on NDTV on YouTube, on our channel as well to get all the updates and the correct news on time and one news that you can trust.